I'm going around collecting all my trail cameras. It's actually January 1st. It's the new year. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy 2021. Hopefully, everyone has a better year this year than last year. I'm sure you're as happy as I am that 2020 is behind us. Hopefully, 2021 is a lot better year than 2020. But, as you see, I'm picking up my trail camera. The, the postseason here in Maine for deer hunting has already gone by. But that, that's why I leave all my trail cameras set up all through December because the uh, there's the late season hunt the first two weeks of December. There's the late season bow hunt in expanded archery zones. And obviously the muzzleloader season goes the first two weeks of in December. And ultimately that's called the post season. The post rut happens sometime in beginning to mid December in some cases later in December that's that's where the yearling does and in some cases some older does that haven't bred yet that haven't come into estrus that occurs later in the December middle to late December in some cases here in Maine so and that's known as the post rot yeah so a lot of bucks are still cruising and they're still scent checking doe groups and does, yearling does that are starting to come into heat for the first time or an estrus if you will. That's a pet peeve of some people's I know. You don't call the, the does estrus coming into heat. It's called estrus. So there's the, the does coming into estrus. There's the, the rut. The bucks rutting, still late season, known as the post rut, and that, so that's why I leave my trail camera set up until about now. There's still a lot of cruising bucks, so I, I'm able to get trail cam pictures of any bucks that survived the rifle season, and that allow me to put together an inventory of what bucks are still alive, and hopefully they'll survive the winter. And be around next deer season. And so I'm going around collecting my 16 trail cameras that I currently own. And I'll later on put the SD cards in the laptop. And just browse through the pictures. See what I got for, for buck pictures. And I'll put together a list of what shooter bucks are still alive. And I'll set out all my cameras next summer. Or this, well, we're already in the next year, in 2021. So this coming summer, I'll set all my trail cameras back out in hopes to get some pictures of these bucks that are currently still alive now. And hope, hopefully they'll survive this winter. And who knows, maybe some of them will stick around for their next archery season this coming October. All right, let's get this camera up. Well, I forgot to shut it off. Yeah, shut the camp. I actually don't even know. I wonder if this one's still. Yeah. Yeah, this camera's still working. The batteries haven't died in this camera, so it took several pictures of me just now. Sweet. Yeah, see, so this is a good sign that this camera was still working. We'll shut her off. And why I'm. Excited that this camera batteries didn't die on me and was still taking pictures because this I have this camera set up facing this opening or clearing here. And this is a heavily traveled deer trail going right behind the camera and through here. This is an intersection right where my camera tripod is set up. It's right in the intersection of these trails. It forms a T. Actually, no, it actually forms a cross, a crisscross. This trail goes right through here to the left of the camera goes that way then there's a trail here going down behind the camera it forms a cross a crisscross right here an intersection and that's why I have this camera set up here it's facing where all these trails merge together in a in an intersection right here 
And I, earlier in the season, in all September and October, and on into November, I got several buck pictures on this camera. And one of the shooter bucks I was after was a real tall eight point, not real wide, but real tall, fairly decent sized points, maybe three, four inch points. He was a good solid two and a half year old eight point buck. And I was hoping to get him with my bow in October, but I happened to go on and harvest a, a different eight pointer. I've got a lot of buck pictures on all these trail cameras out here in these woods. There's a lot of shooter bucks. There's a, a lot of three-year-olds running around. So ultimately, this hunting season coming, they'll be four, four and a half years old. They're going to be big monster bucks. And I hope to catch up with one of them in October and shoot it with my bow. So that was the quick rundown on this setup. This is why I have the camera here. So... Um, I'm really happy that the batteries didn't die in this camera because this camera was set up in a really good spot. I was getting a lot of pictures of like th at least three different bucks in this location here, that nice big two and a half year old eight point. And there was another little eight pointer, another two year old eight pointer that showed up like into November, like late October into early November that I didn't know about. I got pictures of him on this camera and on a on my cutty back over there. And so there was at least three or four good bucks coming through here periodically and I was getting pictures of them on this camera. There was one really nice, probably three and a half year old eight, really big, nice swamp buck. This is all swamp wetland out here. And the trail, this trail comes in crossing a stream over here that that stream runs into this swampy wetland out here. So we got this trail merging with this trail coming out of here. And this trail keeps going that way and this one goes this way. Forms an intersection right here where the camera is. It's just perfect, perfect setup for a trail camera. Watching an intersection. Deer coming from all, from one, two, three, four different directions. Just perfect spot for a camera. Yeah, I'm happy that this one didn't die on me because yeah, I'm really happy about that. All right, let's go to the next one. My second trail camera on my uh, on my camera retrieval. You're probably wondering why I'm all in camo. Because I just come from a coyote hunt. Yeah, like it's midday. It's like 12:30 noon time. Figured I'd go around and collect all my trail cameras while it's 40 degree. While it's like 38 degrees, sunny. Just perfect opportunity to go around and collect them all while it's dry and warm. At least warm for this time of year, anyway. It's almost 40 degrees. It's sunny. It's a beautiful day. I'm curious to see if this camera's still working. Can't get it open actually. It's froze stuck. There we go. Yep. It's counting down, ready to take another picture. That's awesome. Let's see what we got. 10% on the battery. It, but it was. This cutty back was still taking pictures. That's awesome. As you just saw, this camera's watching a trail coming out of the swamp. This wetland swamp here behind the camera. This is a heavy beat down deer trail right here, crossing through this little narrow part of the swamp. There's there's another little point of timber right over there, just like this one that I'm in right now. There's a point of timber jetting out into the swamp over here. There's this one, and there's this trail connecting each little point of timber coming right through the along the edge of the swamp and this I had this cutty back facing the trail so any deer coming and going I wouldn't miss any shots of the the bucks coming out of the swamp here were facing the camera I was getting good head-on shots of the racks on those bucks and this camera was getting pictures of that two and a half year old eight 
tall eight point that I talked mentioned earlier and that other camera that I just picked up I was getting pictures of him as well and Whitey that piebald spike buck this was coming through here often and there was that one nocturnal big three and a half year old eight that I got pictures of on this camera coming through here so this camera was set up in a perfect perfect location just as that other one was I got several pictures of bucks and does and yearlings on this camera here all right let's go to the next one okay on to the next This cutty back I have facing head on to a heavy, heavy deer run coming from this big wide open cut over. There was some logging done here a couple years ago. So we got this big clearing and there's this ridge running right through here. As you can see behind me, this is all the, the ground, the geography here is kind of hilly. There's some ravines and dips and small ridges running through here and I got this higher ground behind me with a ridge and a heavy heavily traveled deer trail going right along the ridge here and it goes out behind me and this deer trail actually is the one that keeps going through the woods behind me all the way to that other cutty back that I just picked up before this one so that trail comes through those points of timber those like like points jetting out into the swamp that trail running through that swamp is the same trail that and comes through here and that was like nearly a quarter of a mile that way you know I'm yeah not like way way less than a half a mile about a quarter of a mile that way was that other cutty back that I just picked up and that trail eventually comes right through here past this camera so that's why I have this cutty back set up here I've got had this one here that one the other cutty back about a quarter of a mile that way watching the same trail that goes through the woods to the swamp then I had that other camera out this way so one two three and I'm go the next camera I'm going to after this one is over this way uh, another quarter of a mile or so that way on another trail but that trail over there does merge into this one all these trails eventually all converge and kind of meet up with one another there's intersections crisscrossing all through these woods and I I set all my trail cameras up facing intersections or trails that lead up to another trail that I have another camera on I, I set out those 16 trail cameras in these woods facing all the intersections and trails coming out of swamps and cutovers and doe bedding areas I I really pretty much got a good inventory of all the deer in, on this property Uh -huh. Did I already get this one? Oh no. I have one more trail camera after this one. Now this camera, as you just saw, 
is facing a uh, skitter trail. This was a, a walking path. Just a little trail cut through the woods. It was a footpath. And it then later on turned to a, into a skitter trail. The skitters would drag their logs through here. There's a, a clear cut back in here. There was some logging done over there. And the skitters would drag their logs this way into the logging yard back here behind me where I'm parked. And so I got this camera facing this down this skitter trail. And I do have a lot of doe and yearling fawn pictures on this camera. Uh, Whitey, the spike buck that I call Whitey. He's a piebald buck, part white and brown. Got a lot of pictures of him on here. And that big, tall rat eight-pointer that I was after in October, I've got several pictures of him coming through here as well. So there's this camera, that cuddyback I just come from over here. That other camera similar to this one over back behind me, about a quarter of a mile that way. And then uh, that other cuddyback. So I had one, two, three, four. I had four trail cameras just right here covering this whole area. This couple mile radius area right here. And there's actually two other trail cameras that I didn't show you. That I picked up earlier about a month ago. That were also set up out by the food plot. Out this way. So I had a couple out there. So I had the food plot covered with a couple trail cameras. And then I had trail cam cameras on the outskirts. Covering trails leading to the food plot. To and from. And I had cameras, and some of these cameras were facing trails going in and out of bedding areas. But I put this camera here to watch the skitter trail that gets traveled very heavily, especially from the does and yearlings. And coming in, I saw a lot of fresh deer scat, and that trail was trampled down out this way. So they, they use this. They come through here year-round. I've seen deer in here late into the winter and out and out that way too the, the deer actually s stick it out in this on this property year round they have everything they need for all seasons right here they've got thick thick cover plenty of water lots of food several different food sources for them there's really no reason for the deer to leave this property it's just a great area all right let's get this camera And it is. This camera just turned on. Yeah, she's working. So this camera just took some pictures of me. That's sweet, man. So far, all cameras were still working. The batteries didn't quit on me. That's a good, that's a good sign, man. So you're in for a treat. I can't wait to show you all the pictures I got. I'm hope, hopeful that a lot of the bucks survived the hunting season. And that I've got some really awesome pictures of them to show you.